Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kagho coming at you with another video. So today, since all the enchants and phase three things came out at 6 p.m., I'm headed to the Grim Guzzler, and I'm going to show you how to get there solo as any class. Now, what you're going to need is two invisibility potions, and then you're going to have to wait 10 minutes. That's the only unfortunate part about doing this way. Um, if you're a stealth class, you can get in very easily. Um, and you also need the Shadow Forge key, which you can do from a quest line um, by talking to the uh, dead guy outside in the uh, middle of the mountain. So what you do here is you're going to run this way. You can avoid these fire elemental packs. Um, this is right when you enter the instance. You go to the left, open these doors. Then you're going to have a third door up here. Then, um, if you have three invises and you really want to wait the time, you can skip this part. But this is the difficult part of killing a few mob packs. So, if you have stealth, this works. Or if you have some way to avoid these mobs, it works better. Or you can even activate it and then die if you really want to. There's many ways to do it. Um, it's just pretty much getting to that lock without going into combat. And now you also have to watch out for this pat here. Now I believe you can get to the lock by going up top, jumping down, and then running out of the instance. I'm going to kill this guy here just because he's a uh, pain in the butt. Because these things are lower 50, so it's not too hard to do that. Um, you just got to watch out for that pat. You will have to kill this pat no matter what in order to get further in the instance. So... What we did right there is killed him, and now we're going to come up here, drop down, and we're going to go right about there to open this lock all nice and easy-like. Just getting my buffs up, going to evocate. <clears throat> I'm in my PvP gear, so I have a lot of int and stam just to be extra bulky. Um, so we're going to jump down right here. Slowly walk up to the lock. Ah. There we go. Alright, so we got the mechanism locked. Now these three are going to pull. Like I said, you can see one, kill one if you want. Um, or, actually, look at that. I've never actually been able to do that. I think Blink helped me out right there a lot to be able to get through that. Um... Then the next part is you're going to have to kill these two mobs because there's no way to um, get through here without pulling extras. So how to do that is just nice, easy kite like so. Get them here. I'm doing this as a mage. I mean, if you're a druid, a hunter, a rogue, you can literally just sneak by. But... This is one of the last mobs we're going to have to end up killing. I'm just showing you ways that... How I know how to do it. So, we killed that. Now we need to hopefully not pull this fire guard here. We will have to pull him, but I don't want to pull him yet. Because killing him without full mana is not going to be fun. He can continue to walk by, and then we can sneak by and pull this guard. Or the guard will come to us. Look at that. That poly timer died perfectly. So I'm going to blow cooldowns here just because uh, these guys do have a disarm. So watch yourselves with that. A lot of things here can just be cheesed by waiting. Um, definitely split this group right down the middle, as you see right there. This group is hard because um, you have to hug the wall and you have to um, watch out for the ad that's behind you. I believe this group can be skipped the same way. And then we're here. I walk as forward as I can and then blink and voila. There we go. So that's how I do it. Um, blink is really nice because it, it does let you skip some stuff that way as a mage that's our one tool that we do get so for this 
Um, this is the part that you do not want to be at. Because um, these mobs are 55, you will pull them like so quickly. Shadow Priest can mine soothe a lot of these mobs. Um, since I'm a mage, I can kill this guy actually. I'm going to offer to do that because they can be a pain in the butt later on as well as getting out so you, you just have to walk through here and then the the shop is pretty simple what we're gonna do is use our first invis pot here because there's no way around all the uh, mobs other than um, invis potting so I could kite that guy, but we're just going to invis, so I was feeling lazy and didn't really want to kite it back because that other pack could be behind us, and the further back we go, the more likely we are to get killed. But anyway, you walk up here, get as close as you can, um, and then you're going to want to pop your invis pot. So while you have the invisibility pot up, I don't think I can blink with it. And all you have to do is just run from there all the way to here. You need to make sure to get inside of here and not pull them. So that's where you use your first invis pot. Now the goal is to get to there. Now what makes this easy is these tech uh, technicians and techno smages and arcana smiths. They're normals. Just normal level 56. So you can kill them all. Um... But I just like to go to the end of the room and then get to that pathway right there. And that's where we use our second invisibility pot. So we're going to see how easily we can. Um, I like to pull and kill a few things right here just because it can be a pain in the butt. Um, otherwise, they can very easily aggro lots of things such as these golem lords, which are detrimental if we pull one of those we're done for and we wasted it in biz pot so once you do that you get right here and then we just wait the grim guzzler is right there just make sure there's no pats coming and then you're able to get in to there um you do have to wait 10 minutes for your invisibility pot potion to get off cooldown but other than that guys that's pretty much it, so I will see you in 10 minutes when our invisibility pot is off of cooldown. Whoop! Alrighty guys, back from that 10 minute vacation where we did absolutely nothing but sit here. Alrighty, so we're going to use this invisibility potion and we are going to walk right through these wonderful fire guard destroyers. And bam, we have made it to the Grim Guzzler. You can try to 2v1 those if you really want to. I was unable to do it, um, but you might fare better. So once you're here in the Grim Guzzler, um, nothing will attack you. Nothing's hostile until you make them hostile by hitting them. So don't do that. She has a quest that's silly. But this is the guy that you want right here. Look, Thanos, Dark Bar Bargainer. So, this is how you get your rep up with them to begin with. But, we have all these wonderful patterns that I do not have that just became available. Oh, that one actually is... I already know that one. Rip. But, we didn't have the robe. We didn't have enchant weapon strength. Mighty spirit. This one is the main reason we came. Flare core leggings. And there's mighty intellect. So... Since I'm a bot and my inventory is full, we're going to have to learn these right here. Feels good, you know. All the hard work of getting this revered, ready to go, finally, finally has paid off. So now we are going to buy that last one, Mighty Intellect. And now we do not have to come here. He also offers the Lava Belt, Molten Helm, all the Dark Iron pieces a lot of people are looking at. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is how you get to um, the Thorium Brotherhood Quartermaster solo. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for tuning in, and bye bye If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with, like, one person you know, because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. really gets me 
going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.